Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to be talking about if it is worth it or not to retire young. So I am not retired yet. Kirby is pretty much retired. You are young, even though he may not look young, but Kirby is young, guys. <laughs> but, but, nice. but before I go into all the details and spoil everything, I will let you explain because I'm sure we're on the same on the same page as to what we mean by retirement, but I'll let you take the lead. Right. If we if we're talking about retirement, most people's ideal of retirement is you don't have to work. The income that you receive from whatever avenue that you have pays for your life. That's roughly what it is. You know, you go travel. You go do whatever you want to do, but the income will pay for that lifestyle. And first off, Alex, I'm going to ask you this question is what do you, or how old do you think for you, just your situation, how old do you think you will be where you could stop any W2 job or anything else and just live off the income that you've produced through other avenues besides your job it's funny because i've actually been had this in mind for years and i'm still on that path to reach that goal i think but the age i believe is 30. Hmm. all right so i mean that's a good number and that's that's considered young alex contrary to proper belief i'm not young i'm uh i'm a <laughs> dinosaur out here <laughs> but the thing is 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 everybody so just think when you're when you're 30 when you're 30 all your friends will still be working right uh yeah i mean you and you and your wife y'all can but all her friends will be working also and i'm just saying it from somebody who's who's done it like the experiences that i had like my 20s 30s i've traveled everywhere I couldn't bring friends along because they had to work. I mean, it's fun for a minute just going to these places. But then it's like everybody else is just busy. Uh, I take the mindset of, you know, a Warren Buffett. You know, Warren Buffett about 300 years old now and he still go punch that clock every day. And I'm not saying that you have to sit there at a, at a nine to five job, but you have to be doing something. I mean, like, you know, we started this channel. That's doing something. Um, you know, talking to for I'm just talking about us. You know, we have meetings with property managers. We have meetings with tenants. We have meetings with, you know, people that run businesses and, you know, got the online store, you know, having those conversations and things like that. But the true reality for people that, you know, is, you know, immersed in this social media world that think that, oh, I can retire when I'm 25 and then I can go do everything. It gets boring quick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to break the news to people. I mean, what I mean quick is, you know, you go travel 20, you know, you go travel for a year and a half, you know, by yourself or with a significant other. I mean, a store is a store is a store. But food is food is food. And trust me, I am a foodie. It's, you know, it's, that's what it is. I mean, the hallmark for people to, for people in traveling is, you know, especially with the social media world, is to go to Dubai. I've been 20 times. I could tell you the ins and outs of that place. But the only thing I could do to my friends is tell them about it because they won't be able to go. So I can say, okay, I can just keep going to these places and I have a great time when I go. But it's nobody really to enjoy it with because like, for instance, Dubai, my wife used to live in Dubai for a while and uh, she she don't even want to go back. So what's, what's the point? So I can just sit here and keep traveling, keep traveling, keep traveling, or I can keep innovating, innovating, innovating to produce more to create more and that's just really my mindset of it is if you're young do something 
don't just do nothing for all those people that want to retire and just want to try travel and fly private and all that you still have to do something because retiring early to me ain't worth it but alex what's your thought because i know you got a grand plan to retire when you're 30 so what's your thoughts on? <laughs> no so by the time i i mean by the time i reach that age i'm confident that i'll have the ability to retire but that's been my response to people or my answer to people because i've gotten that question before what age do you think you can retire at? and i always say i just want to be able to know that i can because will i leave my job i don't know um i i like where i work my job is easy kirby will tell you it's it's easy he'll bother me all day at work calling he me don't, back to back he don't answer my phone calls y'all. <laughs> sometimes he calls me at the weirdest moments though so and it's always at the same time. I'm like, right at this hour is when, when I'm doing like something. At least I'm consistent. <laughs> at least I'm consistent. But, um, but I mean, it doesn't mean, uh, and I'm glad you brought up all those points as do something because you look at the people that retire and then do nothing and they die. They die like soon. It's because I truthfully believe as humans, we're built to do stuff you're built to do something you know occupy yourself because if you're not doing anything you're just deteriorating you're not improving yourself in any way you're not making your brain work you're not making your body work and so your body's just eating itself away basically I'm not trying to make this a health topic but i think that retirement can be unhealthy if you know if you're not active in some avenue so my idea of retirement would be if I said, okay, I'm going to leave my W-2 job, it would be because I need to focus all my time on this YouTube channel. I need to focus my time on real estate, on stocks, if I have other ventures by that point. But it's because these things, these areas of my life are more important than a simple W-2 job. But that would be retirement for me. I might be busier than I would be at a W-2 job, but it would be doing things that have purpose in my life because these things will provide more value than a job working for somebody else could. And for me, it's, it's very, it's very simple. So the ideal of retirement is to do nothing for most of America is to do nothing and then do whatever you want. So let's go down the line. Grant Cardone, billionaire works every day. He works social media. He works deals. He works. Gary V. Seven, eight, nine figure net worth. Works. Social media, business. Warren Buffett. Hundreds of billions. Work, business. Elon Musk. He could, Elon Musk literally could cash out everything that he has right now, pay the taxes, and sit in the hole, and he still will be one of the richest men in the world for a long, 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 long time. I have to do nothing. He works not on one business, not on two businesses, not on four businesses. He has six different businesses that he's running right now, being the richest man in the world. So who the hell are you? That's that's the thing is Jeff Bezos. Everybody gonna be like, well, Jeff Bezos, he stepped down from Amazon CEO. Yeah, he did. But he also run Blue Origin. He's also still the chair of Amazon. So y'all tell me where these people, people trying to retire with a million, 1.5 million. Hell, some people trying to retire with $30 in the bank. <laughs> but the people who, people that's six, seven, eight, nine figures, the richest people in the world, they ain't retiring. It's the reason why. It's because Jeff Bezos got a yacht he traveled all around the world multiple times over. But again, it gets boring. I mean, yeah, I know he got a new fiance, wife, whatever. It's cool for a couple of years. Be like, okay, we traveling. Now it's uh didn't we see the Rock of Gibraltar already? Didn't we see the Paris Towers already? It's just like you waking up every day from your house and be like, oh, there's the neighbors. That's what it turns into. It's not you know, it's good the first time experience, 
But after that, just get back to the grind. I mean, I've seen articles on CNBC of a, a lady, she retired early because she wanted to go on a sabbatical just to travel the world for, uh, she wanted to travel the world for, I think, two years it was. And then the thing that she learned was, yeah, I took the sabbatical, I traveled, but now look at me, I'm 34. She did it at 28. Now she's 34 and she's so far behind on retirement that she's saying, and of course she lived in California, that I'll be working to the day that I die to be able to afford to live. I mean, it sounds, all that stuff sounds good. But at the end of the day, you have to do something. If you're sitting around doing nothing, don't worry about it. You'll be working again. But the thing is, you're going to be working again at an older age and you ain't going to have the same position you was at when you quit work. Because you're going to realize that it's fun for a little while, but if everybody can't take part in it, it's really not that fun. So working and doing something, not working for a job, but doing something will bring the best results for you in your life. So I don't think it's worth it. I mean, stop working for a W2 job, yeah, but not doing anything, I don't think it's worth it. I agree completely. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, leave us a comment down below and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one.